Good morning everyone. So I'm back with a vlog. Welcome back or welcome if you're new to my channel. My name is Chloe and I really hope you stick around for today's vlog. But today is a Friday. Um, Friday the 20th of November which means that I do have my online class soon. It actually starts at half nine and not nine. I think our lecturer gives us time to like get ready because it's currently 8.53 for me. Like as you can see my online class starts in about half an hour. I do actually still need to eat my breakfast. I originally thought yesterday that I had done everything that I needed to do for units two and four and one. So I've done everything for unit one, definitely, but units two and four, which are together by the way, I thought I had, but we've been given some more work. Uh, it just feels never ending at this point. It just feels like I'm never doing anything else aside from college work at this point, which I guess is kind of the point when you're a full-time student. It shouldn't be like this. I do think that when I, you know, applied for this course, I had this, like, this expectation of what it was going to be like, and the reality is far from that. Lower your actual expectations because most of the time reality is going to come back to bite you in the butt it's not an actual saying i just thought i'd say it for the fun of it my hair's actually gotten quite lighter because the reason why i say i thought i had gotten my work done is because if i go back to this i'm currently on teams i, I logged on like 20 minutes ago to find in the work complete in the work to be completed section i'm thinking what i'll probably do is start eating my breakfast and just look through these documents i've just been given for this and yeah this was originally going to be like a writing vlog but i don't think any writing is going to happen until tomorrow i might get some done today kind of just depending on how much work i can get done today because at the moment i I've, i'm up to chapter 18 i believe um, i did like the first scene last night so it's just picking up off from where picking up from where i left off also this lighting is very deceiving because it's far from sunny outside it is literally just overcast like as you can kind of see and the trees just makes me so happy like you see how skeletal these are so yeah and then it was also like three degrees when i woke up this morning but i have since put the heating on which my dad's gonna be like why did you turn the heating on for you gonna waste the money that's what dads are like aren't they just about trying to save money but it's freezing and it was literally three degrees when i woke up so of course i'm gonna turn the heating on anyway breakfast time because i'm hungry oh but one thing before i go it's the 20th of november which means if i go on spotify and i go to artists and click on the muted they have now released another album which i am very excited to listen to today when i'm not in an online class. <laughs> so it's now getting closer to the time where I should be kind of, you know, getting ready for my online class. I'm pretty much ready. I've just got a little bit of my um, coffee left. I have pulled up the script treatment structure. It's basically just like a book outline, like a book plot summary. It's like more detailed, I guess. It's just like a basic kind of outline with like a three act structure, basically. So log line, which I have actually already got for the, the idea, characters, which I really need to kind of name. These are the five points I need to hit as well. So the opening scene, final scene, and then the three different acts as well. As you can see, I've already got my log line. 
don't know why I put pitch there when it's a log line, but don't mind me. So to kind of give like a bit of a background as to what my idea is, obviously it's dystopian because that's what we are working towards. That's what we have been learning about for the past eight weeks of the course. Not eight, it's been more like ten. For the past two terms, that's what we have been learning about, dystopias. And we have kind of been looking at others in kind of preparation of kind of creating our own. It, yeah, we are now starting to like actually create our own, but we're not like going to be writing everything obviously i think the only thing we will be writing is the opening image yeah the opening scene and so right yeah my idea is basically about like technology meeting a virus the point i'm trying to make is that it's like technology meets virus so there is this group of crazy scientists that have this so-called vaccine that they're trying to get out into the world and spread it around when it's actually a new like virus and just the whole idea kind of centers around that and people dealing with it like different kinds of people and so the four main characters that I have so far is woman in her like between the ages of 18 and 23 who has anxiety and depression second woman is like also in her 20s i believe i can't really remember at this point but i'll talk more about it in detail probably later on um because i do need to start getting ready for my class now because it's 9.23 so it's now almost 12 o'clock and my brain is feeling quite scattered and quite busy I do need to go and have lunch soon first I think I need to like sort these papers out so I've got character profiles which I need to kind of fill out for my main characters because they need developing and then also what I think I'm gonna do is fill out these trauma profiles for the characters as well for my dystopian idea obviously that's what I'm on about when I say characters they now also have names which is a good thing because where are the names oh yeah I had to um just do a load of, of like research for names so I've got female male and then surnames and then i've got papers that i've already had just paper everywhere the actual character names on one piece of paper and then i started writing notes for the treatment which i do need to finish ideally today but then i also need to uh you know fill in those character things I think that's pretty much it. I just need to take pictures of some of the stuff as well. So, first character is called Paige Simmons. Second character is called Clarity Stallard. Third character is called Margot Webb. And then the third character is called Clayton Underwood. I'm just going to take pictures of this now to evidence it on my Wix site. And then what else do I need to do? Ideally, find my boyfriend. You can tell I'm just... All over the place i'm gonna put the camera down and just get on with the stuff that i know i need to do past two i have just had lunch 
have I finished my college work? No, I still have the unit two and four stuff to do. And then I also need to do uh, unit my unit three work as well at some point, because I've got to do my media focused CV and then the hierarchy of the crew task. So I still got a lot to do and fingers crossed I will get it all done today because I think I'm just going to focus on college work today so then tomorrow I can be focusing on book work. I'm currently on chapter 18 of Scarlet Blood Skies like I said because I'm doing my read through. I'm stood in like a really awkward place. I'm like right near the fridge freezer. I'm like in between the kitchen and the dining room. It's not much of a dining room at the moment anyway and my dad's in the middle of decorating but he's obviously at work at the moment. But yes, he's repainting the dining room and the kitchen. This is completely irrelevant but it's just like a mint green to like brighten up the space because definitely needs it. I look really pink. I look the same colour as my jumper because I'm really hot. I should probably turn the heating off actually. I'm going to do that because otherwise my dad's going to come home and moan at me for having the heating on. So I'm actually going to head back upstairs and get my college work done. I apologise for the lighting. It is awful, I know. So now I'm back, back up in my room. I am going to crack on with college work. The thing is though, I really want to go out on my walk at some point before four. My mum said that she is expecting a parcel between two and four and also a delivery of potatoes. It's supposed to be coming at some point this afternoon. So I can't really go out as much as I want to. I think I'm literally gonna have to go out when the sun is setting. I'm actually going to continue working on my script treatment. Oh, it's just taking so long because I'm having to stop to do some like character development because I have to like develop my characters. But it's just like one of those things that takes a really long time for me personally. But then this doesn't really need to be done until Tuesday. But and I'm not in on Tuesdays. So I could probably get it done on Tuesday, but I don't know. I'm thinking I might focus on character development because the thing is, I remember a while ago when I ordered Story Genius about like, and if you didn't know Story Genius, it's basically like um, a writing craft book. And I got it after, what was it? Lauren, not Lauren, Laura. Laura writes. She recommended that book as part of a series that she's doing on her channel about writing craft books. I got it, started reading through it, and kind of gave up. But it basically just tells you to like focus on your character and your character's internal and external conflicts, and that and from that point, you know, you can develop a story based on your character. That's literally the whole premise of the book. To just focus on the character and the story will come naturally. That's what I got from it anyway. So I think I'm probably just going to forget about the script treatment for today and just focus on character development. So I want to do character profiles for like every single character and then trauma profiles for the characters the main four characters.
can most definitely tell but it's a lot later now it's like it's dead on nine o'clock i have been home for a very long time i did go out on my walk it was a bit rainy but i mean i'm just gonna get used to going out in the rain now because it rains a lot i did go out on my walk after getting some old college work done is that what i was doing i'm so tired i can't even remember but i did some college work went on my walk and then i think when i came back i did some more for the like last hour i've just been like having dinner hour and a half and it's now i don't know why but oh i also had a, a chat with a few of the other lovely women here on authortube youtube people that i'm friends with dawn kozak and evie redding who else was there timmy was there sylvia was there from sylvia with a plan who else was there uh rayleigh was there rebecca rodriguez i'm gonna feel so bad if i forget someone i think that's everyone that was everyone it was a nice chat i we had that kind of like group chat before i had my dinner and because it's now nine o'clock i am literally just going to get into pajamas probably start on make it at least a start on my unit three work i'm really behind with my unit three work and i'm just starting to feel like overwhelmed with college work again just because i feel like it never ends and when i do catch up the work just i just get more work piled on i just don't know why i thought it was a good idea to do another course to do this last course to do this course in the middle of a pandemic in the middle of like a mental health crisis i really don't know what i was thinking i'm in it until next june now and i have a feeling it's gonna go pretty quickly well we're already coming up to the christmas half term anyway you know we're like four weeks away from the christmas half term and i just know that's gonna go by so quickly we're going to get to chris we're going to get to christmas so quickly and then it'll be 2021 i think my main goal for 2021 or at least until the end of the year is just surviving 2020 has been a year like me and the girls were talking about this i can't even remember the last thing i filmed i think it might have been this and i kind of just decided that all of the papers for my dystopian idea deserved a folder of their own so they got that so i think i'm gonna make a start on unit three task seven i think i'm just gonna skip task six for now because it's the bloody cv and i just really can't be bothered with that tonight i'm just gonna make a start on um task seven because i just w really want to make a start on something i have a feeling this might actually be the last tuesday that i am spending online oh my god it will be wait no 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 because so it will be this next tuesday and then the tuesday after that so the first of december and then i will be back in college on tuesday the 8th i'll only have like two or three tuesdays in and then yeah i will be on my christmas after um, my christmas break you can tell just how tired i am i think this is probably gonna be it for today so i will see you tomorrow to do a load of writing not even that but a load of reading oh because the other thing i was gonna say is that my original deadline for finishing this read through of the third draft was gonna be the end of november but it's the 20th and i'm still on chapter 18 I've got a long way to go. I'm definitely not going to get it done all in November. I mean, unless tomorrow is a really good day, which I doubt it will be. Good morning. So it's now Saturday, the 21st of November. But today is going to just be solely focusing on writing, not writing, actually reading more so. Uh, it's actually currently about 10 to 12. And I'm only just starting the like the vlog for today. I have spent the morning just kind of chilling. I woke up at like half eight, had a shower, got dressed, had breakfast, dried my hair, and I'm now 
you know, at my desk about to start the day. I think I'm probably gonna get my lunch about one, half one, because ideally I wanna get the rest of chapter 18 done and then 19 as well before I have my lunch. Before I even do that, I really just need to kind of have a clean of my desk. If you're wondering what I actually clean my desk with, I basically just use these antibacterial wipes. So I'm just going to take everything off my desk. As you can see in this little part here, just basically needs a clean out because these really don't need to be there because I don't really use these at my desk apart from when I'm doing things like online lessons. I don't mind my computer right now. It's trying to download Avid Pro Tools first because I really want to start getting into my music and just making music again actually like on a computer. So I'm downloading that. Things on my webcam I keep there just because, just because. Things like my watch because I've obviously got my Christmas tree up at the moment I can't really have anything on my nightstand so I'm gonna put this on my shelf almost done with putting everything back after cleaning i'm actually really happy with this there's no like sound this interface i've got to learn this interface um and then i also really need to get my actual audio interface to be able you know for my input and when i do get that that will go in this little gap here where my guitar bits are at the moment the only issue i think i'm gonna have with that is I put like my drinks there that's not a good idea so it might end up going in this gap and I will probably have to move my mirror
it is now, is it going to focus? About <laughs> five to four, and yes, it's actually kind of getting dark now. I haven't written since you last saw me write, which was before lunch, because I have just been out. Because my sister finished work, I needed to get a few bits from there, so that's exactly what I did. I am, um, yes, in this room, in my, like, teddy bear. Is it like teddy, like a teddy jumper? It's, even though it's really warm, and I'm wearing jeans, which are strangely comfortable right now but I feel like I'm going to regret saying that in the next half an hour because I am kind of hungry so I might have a snack before I get back to writing I'll probably get back to writing at like four I'm gonna put everything away then get to writing It is now, trying not to get the glare on my glasses, but it is now about 20 past eight. I think that is probably going to be like the end of this vlog. I'm just gonna kind of wrap things up. A lot of the time with vlogs, I feel like I always kind of have to, you know, have this certain level of productivity in my vlogs. I always just feel like I have to be super productive in my vlogs and i'm gonna be completely honest i'm not always productive sometimes i'm not even like this productive in a day to get lots of like writing done because so far today i believe i've actually done two hours completely my lips are looking kind of blue I was reading from 12 40 to 10 past one then 10 past four to 20 to 6, 20 past 6 to 10 to 7. I've done about two hours 
today which it's like that's like a good day for me at the moment because just with everything going on right now and like but just with my current state at the moment I don't usually get a lot done I find it really hard sometimes to just even do an hour but then it's like I have days where I just do half an hour and I'm just like that's that's fine I that's okay I, that's kind of the reason why I haven't been vlogging because I always feel like I have to be at a certain level of productivity in my vlogs which is completely unrealistic because in my day-to-day -day life I feel like I'm not very productive because of my issues I feel like I'm just not really getting my point across very clearly I just always feel like my vlogs always have to be at a certain level consistently in real life that's not the case because we are not always consistently productive we are you know a human we have better days you know we have good days we have bad days we may have like good mornings and then a pretty shitty evening or afternoon or we can have like really shitty mornings and then a really good afternoon because I think that's kind of like what I've learned recently just about myself you can't just label a day as a bad day because chances are you had a good morning but a bad afternoon I don't know why I struggle with it so much just accepting obviously I can accept that I had like a bad afternoon I often find that I label bad afternoons as bad days when they should really be just bad afternoons and not a bad day because my morning was good um, or like parts of the day vice versa trying to be a, at a consistent level of productivity it's not realistic and it's not what my life is really like because I can have days where I can I, I just feel like super overwhelmed and stressed and then I have days where I feel super relaxed and I think yesterday was actually one of those days where I just felt super relaxed I guess just what I'm trying to say is that you know you're never gonna be consistently productive and it's unrealistic to think that that it usually happens when I'm not vlogging when I'm not vlogging I don't have a productive day but then I have days where I am vlogging where I'm not productive because I'm spending so much time focused on vlog on vlogs and I feel like part of today has kind of been like that and so you don't see me being productive because you don't see me kind of thinking about where to put my camera what angles to get what shots to get how long for just you don't see me set up those angles or shots either a lot of the time you don't see what a person's life is really like in a vlog because it's just unrealistic but i'm gonna stop blabbing on now about like productivity and reality and whatnot i think i'm probably now just gonna do like another half an hour of book work because i'm currently on chapter 19 i finally got through chapter 18 because this is where the chapters are starting to get longer now and that's why I was saying about being realistic because I wanted to get to chapter 22 today that is not gonna happen instead I'll just be happy if I get to the end of chapter 19 but I am gonna end this vlog now if you enjoyed it and enjoyed seeing like my college and book progress then make sure to give this vlog a big thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe and ding the bell to be notified every single time I upload. My main videos are now going up on Fridays and then bonus content is going up on Mondays. That is going to be it for this vlog. Thank you so much for, oh also all of my social media links will be linked down below. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.